back with our final forgotten body part. And this one is so famous it has its own weekly holiday. That would be International Chess Day, taking place at a gym near you every Monday. First to fight for the right and to build the nation's fight and the army goes fully along. First up is going to be the kneeling landmine press. This is one of me and Brandon's favorite upper chest exercises of all time, and it is a great one. Now, why is it called landmine? Well, that's an excellent question. It's because you can use the tool like you can see me using now, where you just go ahead and shove the barbell in and begin performing. If you don't have the landmine tool, you can just go ahead and shove that bar into the corner and then rep it out from there. What you wanna do is have the barbell ready and loaded up with weight. You wanna take your palms, you wanna grip them together at the very end, begin at the clavicular portion of your chest, push up into the top position, elbows tight, locking out, really give it a nice squeeze before performing it again. As I said, this is one of our favorite upper chest exercises of all time, and you definitely need to give it a shot if you haven't already. We're going really old school with this next exercise, and it is the father of the bench press. Say hello to the floor press. This one is a great exercise because it's going to be having you work on that mid to top position. A lot of times when you're using the bench press, you take that weight down, you begin pressing it up, you get it just about to where the floor press begins and then you begin to struggle. With this exercise, that's really gonna give you strength in that area and you're gonna immediately notice it in your bench press for the future. So, add this floor press to your arsenal and give father a home. If you've watched some of our chest workout videos in the past, you're gonna see that we have used this next exercise all the time. It's the wide to close grip dumbbell press. And it's an excellent exercise, which beginning wide, you use external rotation and adduction to go into the close grip press, which is going to focus on the triceps just a little bit more. But the great thing is that all the primary movements are chest specific. So in the end, you're just getting one badass chest exercise rep after another. Buff dudes approved. Next up is the reverse grip press. This one is a lot like the bench press, except your arms are gonna be externally rotated. And you're also going to be working your upper chest a little bit more with the anterior delts being a secondary muscle group worked. Seeing as you're gonna be a little bit more in a compromised position than with your normal bench press, go ahead and take the weights just a little bit lighter to ease up tension on that anterior shoulder. This is a great exercise, another excellent upper chest exercise, and one that we definitely recommend. Get out there and reverse grip bench. Yeah. Last on the list, and this one's extra special. It's the Kettlebell Mobility Band Stability Press. It sounds kind of boring, doesn't it? I agree. That's why today, you're gonna witness the renaming of an exercise because it will now, henceforth, be called the Buff Press. Yeah. So how do you perform this one and what does it do? Well, this one is gonna be working on your stabilizer muscles and it's gonna give you bar control. Sounds like quite the responsibility, doesn't it? Well, with great power comes great responsibility. So you're gonna to wanna to get started on this exercise to learn bar control and master the art of being a gym warrior. How do you do it? Well, you take the mobility bands, you wrap them around the kettlebells, you stick them on the barbell, and you start repping it out. This is one of those exercises you really gotta try to just see how well it works because it's amazing and highly recommended. It's what I would call Buff Dudes Approved. There you have it, dudes and girls. Five of our favorite forgotten exercises for chest. If you haven't tried them out, please do. And hey, come back to the comments and let us know what you think. So, this series is over. What are we moving on to? Well, good question. We are in the middle of developing our bulking program. It's gonna be a 12-week program. Me and Brian are gonna be using it to try to put on a lot of weight. We're gonna shoot lots of videos, document our progress. Hopefully, we just get bigger and buffer than we've ever been before. And we've also got a teenage buddy of ours. We're gonna be taking him through it too, trying to put on a lot of weight on him. He's a baseball player. We're gonna see how it relates to his sports, his abilities. It's gonna be awesome be kind of like a documentary and the bulking program all in one. So follow along coming January. And until next time, stay off.